Welcome guys to another video of Tower Defense X. This one's a lot sooner because uh, I want to showcase you guys the easy mode game mode. We now have the map. Uh, that's just a sample picture. Okay, I know it's crossroads. Let's all go in. Get in. Get in. Yes, we all sit in. Yes. Oh, so good and cool. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I need a put in sounds, but that's so good and cool. I am here on main programmer, Atraz. He is the one that programs this entire game say hi yo what's up hey traz uh you're pretty smart right uh you went to college and stuff for like four years or something uh yeah sort of like my degree's five years long i'm in my fifth year so i'm almost done wait you you went to college for five years yeah in canada uh, a lot of degrees are five years long it's called co-op Damn. Wow, look at this oh. guy. I barely graduated high school. This guy's a nerd, you guys. Uh, <laughs> yep. I was gonna go to college and then my uh YouTube started to do very well. I was like, well, I'm not doing college anymore, you guys. Um it's way five. So the thing is that in TDX, uh there's gonna be more spam zombies rather than uh one single big dude. That's how I kind of wanna vision this game. We're not really struggling as of right now. The uh, slow zombies, or rather, heavy zombies have 27 HP. That's a lot more tanking compared to the rest of the easy game modes you see normally. In four players, uh, you don't get much cash shared because it's like 50% or so. But I have enough cash to buy the uh, first path there to upgrade. Once I do that, I can no longer buy the upgrades down here. The path is locked. Hey, Traz, um, why the hell do you have a block of cheese on your head, dude? I'm going for that classic OG <laughs> Roblox look. <laughs> uh, wave 9, there's armored zombies. Typically, you get those boss 1 looking dudes that have a lot more HP, but here in TDX, we don't believe City 1 one damn dude. We believe just spamming you to hell with it. Um, it shouldn't be a problem with the Star Tower as, as long as you have 4 players. But yeah, it does, re it does reference the classic boss 1 look though. Look at that. Except we have a little armband on it. Uh, we're starting to struggle a bit. Um, again, these are not the final balanced ideas I have, but um, it's it's start it's starting to get there. And Ranger is starting to struggle here. Yeah, we're kind of getting nanny right now. But things that this map is super long, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and place down another Ranger right here. So I'm gonna dish out some more DPS on them. Stealth zombies come in. Uh, wave. 11 they're just a the fast one so they're not that much of a threat there's also the chain boys as well with 165 health uh, followed by a lot of heavy spam and armor zombie spam so things start to get really intense i might actually buff ranger because uh uh for four players you kind of struggle a bit and you gotta think of the noobs bro when they first play this game they're they're not gonna know what, what to do properly at least he escaped with five hp no three three hp oh never mind okay cool over here, we cleared up very well. Nice. I got my ranger to level four, and there's a little eye icon. That means it can detect stealth. I love seeing stealth. Some more chain spam. Not a big deal once you got the level four ranger. Of course, level five, the LMG M60 is where you want to be at, though. I like the design of it. It's just because I spam a bunch of slow bosses, and then I put in fast zombies to, to go in the front, try and sneak through, or rather just give you more HP to deal with. Wave 13, armor heavy zombies spawning with 450 health. Uh, those are quite hefty right there. Oh cool, some dude got major four on path two. So now we have splash image ability. Uh, splash image does detect stealth as well. If there's a nearby zombie that is not stealth, it, yeah, you can still splash damage it. Thing is that these guys do not detect stealth. We're not really leaking through, and if they do, you know, we still have this giant corner of ranger span right here, so it's not a big deal that I'm concerned about right now. There's a lot of stealth zombie fast. I really need buff stealth guys, because right now they're not really being utilized. They just get shredded too easy. Yeah, like that was just more of a freebie wave, a little breaver that I put in, so you get more cash. We got stealth chain zombies. God damn. Follow along with some more armored heavy zombies as well. Uh, shouldn't really be an issue because now I've got the M60 and we're going to start doing mass DPS. 90 DPS. I got that legit, you guys. This is the first time that I didn't cheat on my own goddamn game and win. Base 17 mutators come in. These guys are supposed to pop off that zombie on the back and start, like, sprinting fast as hell with, like, 90 health. That's not programmed in yet, but that'll be later. And then you got armored 
heavy zombies, but stealth. Thanks to my ranger though, they're not really much of a threat, but the path twos are absolutely worthless. Yeah, the uh, stealth armor zombies are kind of punching through a bit, because again, greys do not detect them, there's a handful of those. To counteract that, I am going to max out another range. Mm, stealth armor zombies suck, mid. So what I vision all towers in, T in TDXB is that all max towers will be OP in their own way. I don't want any of them to be like garbage. It's just that they'll be balanced by how much they cost. Uh, wave 19 has my zombies. I made them faster than than uh, last time before. They were just too slow. Uh, these are just a handful, but later on you'll you'll start to see how these guys really start to punch through. I was just five of them, and look how far they got. And it's got another max out ranger with the M60. The ranger is massive. Great path is slightly smaller with with three studs less right here. My max ranger has dealt a total of 16,000 damage. Man, that is cool. And I spent almost nearly $17,000 on it. Yeah, that's a lot of hazmat zombies. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that we really put the nail on you. Ooh, someone got the great path max for the ranger. Now we got fire damage. Okay, I'm gonna place down a uh, great path ranger. I'm gonna start to max that out. Oh, 4,000, wow. That's reconnaissance, kind of there we go. Grenade! <laughs> Wave 20 again, it's just mostly spam, but near the end it gets pretty easy. At this point, they're just free cash. The max path 2 is $12,000, what a deal. Wave 21 abominations start to roll with 4,250 HP. Hazards are being spammed in the back, while abominations are punching through by a lot. It's really tanky for all the hazmat zombies in the back here. Uh, I could have now afford the max path for ranger, and there we go. Now we're getting pushed back. Wave 22, there's even more abominations that come in your way, backed up by uh, beta zombies and stealth hazmat zombies. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys, we are gonna be struggling here in a bit. Um, uh, okay, get up for LMG, there we go. <laughs> oh man. Come on, Great Path, do something. God, the fire's so OP. I don't think it should stack, it just melted those, those zombies. <laughs> Wave 23, you guess it, more abominations back to with armored heavy zombie spam as well. Fast zombies at this point are worthless. I should not put those in again. Oh, and I forgot, radioactive zombies with 1,650 HP. Because they are nuclear powered, that's why they go so so goddamn fast. I need to spam more, more, more rangers. Okay, I need to start to max out these guys over here because they will punch through all the way. Oh man, they're punching through. I gotta, I gotta get the M60, there we go. Okay, wave wave 24 is the final wave, I believe. Yeah, wait, I, I, no, 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 it's not. Wave 24 is the final push wave that normal zombies do. Next wave is a, is the last wave. There's only 25 waves in in a easy mode, and goddamn, it's hard. Okay, I think I put stealth abominations in here. No, there's stealth muted zombies, and yeah, there's just a lot of spam. Oh yeah, there we go, stealth abominations. Okay, I need to put a ranger over here. That's not exactly a great spot, but there's not really any more spots to take up there. I'm gonna put a ranger over here to start preparing. Okay, abominations are punching through really hard. We have not gone through the stealth guys, but the stealth abominations have taken a beating. Uh, well, somewhat damage from the splash damage. Not very much though. Uh, the next wave is already starting while we're still struggling this. I think I should probably buff that. And then there we go, the Plague Doctor is in. Uh, he does have one working ability. He can finally spawn in zombies, yeah. Oh, Atraz! That's that's not supposed to happen! Atraz! We, he wasn't supposed to do that! Okay. Uh, Plague Doctor is actually getting nanade pretty hard. We are trading the hell out of his HP. I should really buff his HP to like 40,000. He spawned some more zombies, but they just don't last a long time. I need to buff those guys, too. They're just getting absolutely shredded. Dude, this boss sucks! Who made this game? This game is garbage. Please don't play this game. Okay, Atraz, any, anything you want to say to the viewers before uh, I end the video, buddy? Stop moving! Just, uh... Stop moving! Cool. Stand still! I don't feel like track... Uh, no. I don't feel like tracking uh, you in, in a dub, dude! Okay, what? Uh, I'm gonna finish up the Plague Doctor ability, so, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those. Okay, guys, uh, that was it. Next time, Plague Doctor will, will actually function fully!